The Pentagon top brass not yet ready to say Russia was complicit, but definitive on Bashar al-Assad's involvement. There is no doubt the Syrian regime is responsible for the decision to attack and for the attack itself. The U.S. missile strike telling Moscow the Trump administration will use force and is already not ruling out further military action against Assad, but hoping that the Russians temper their own actions. I'm confident the Russians will act in their own best interest, and there's no, nothing in their best interest to say they want this situation to go out of control. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson arriving in Moscow today also laid down a marker. I hope that what the Russian government uh, concludes is that, is that they have aligned themselves with an unreliable partner in Bashar al-Assad. But Russian President Vladimir Putin calling the missile strike reminiscent of the U.S. invasion of Iraq. This very much resembles the situation in 2003 and the war in Iraq. The Iraq campaign was launched and it finished with the destruction of the country, the growth of the terrorist threat, and nothing less than the emergence of ISIS on the international stage. And warning Syrian rebels may have more planned. We have information from various sources that this kind of provocation, I can't call it anything other than a provocation, is being prepared for in other regions of Syria too, including the southern suburbs of Damascus, where they are preparing to drop similar chemicals and then accuse the Syrian government of it. But the U.S. says the insurgents don't have sarin, and in turn pressing the American case that the Russians bear responsibility for the chemical weapons attack. The U.S. intelligence community now investigating how much the Russians knew about the attack ahead of time. The U.S. knows there were Russian forces at the base, and they likely knew about chemical weapons at the base and flight operations happening there. The U.S. also knows a Russian drone flew over the hospital treating victims, and an unknown fixed-wing aircraft dropped a conventional bomb five hours later trying to destroy evidence. Allahu Akbar. Only Syrian and Russian aircraft fly in the area.